Well, Bill City Council members considering a contract to start the design phase for the Civic Center. That will take some time before construction can begin, and people already want to know how's that <laughs> going to affect Mardi Gras. I'm telling you, Fox the News, Dacian Smith has more on this story. Dacian, now you talk with Mayor Stimson about potential impacts to the season, right? Yes, I did. And he says it's a little too early to know exactly how the construction is going to impact the next few Mardi Gras seasons. But he says the city's already looking at ways to make things as smooth as possible. Things are moving forward with upgrading the Mobile Civic Center. Now that the city council is considering an almost $3 million contract to design 25 to 30 percent of the renovation project. The city says it hopes to have the design finished in about a year before eventually starting construction. Once that happens, some organizations won't be able to have their Mardi Gras balls there. They don't really have any viable place to go except possibly the uh, convention center, which have totally radically changed the way they do the ball. While there's no start date yet, the city says construction could take between 18 to 24 months. Mayor Sandy Stimson says they're already looking into how to make it as least disruptive as possible. Uh, we have looked at, you know, possibly having, creating other venues other than the Civic Center, you know, to host Mardi Gras. What we'll endeavor to do is to make sure that we only touch one Mardi Gras season. With the Army Corps of Engineers building expected to break ground this month, Parade goers could see impacts for this upcoming season. Wayne Dean, who is part of multiple organizations, says parking is a huge concern while most of the parking lot is fenced off. When you get, uh, you know, thousands of people coming, to, whether they're coming for a ball or parade, and you eliminate that much parking, uh, you're going to be scattered all over town. Mayor Stimson says the city will work to cut back on disruptions as best it can, but both he and Dean say the finished product will be worth it. If we don't do this project, and you shut the Civic Center down, you know, then what do you do? Because there will come a point in time that it will have served its useful life and you will no longer continue to have those functions there. I think it's going to be a good uh, facility. I'm looking forward to it. And the city council is scheduled to vote on that contract at their next meeting on Tuesday. Live in Mobile, Dacian Smith, Fox 10 News.